Last year, in the midst of my TikTok scrolling sessions, I stumbled into the running world and became engrossed in run talk. Like many others on TikTok, I decided I was entering my running era. Before I knew it, I had signed up to the Paris Marathon. It wasn't until January of this year that I started taking the marathon training seriously and developed a 12-week plan. Despite hitting a slump after eight weeks of training, I held on to an unyielding belief that I can do anything I set my mind to, even if that meant running the marathon without completing my training. The journey has been nothing short of incredible, pushing my limits on long runs and feeling a profound sense of belonging within the running community. And now this is the marathon vlog, starting with my arrival in Paris just two days before marathon day. We have arrived in Paris. It's only 11 o'clock and they had this room available for us. So we can leave our stuff here and then we need to go and pick up my race bib. And I think I get a vest as well. So we're gonna do that now. And I got a running vest, a black one, which I wanted because my one's white and my marathon outfit is black, so it will match. Just getting ready to go for a 5k run with the sports international team. A nine o'clock run and then I don't know, we'll chill for the rest of the day. It is a very gloomy day. But it's meant to be like 28 degrees or something, so that's good I guess. And me. <laughs> See, I want the view. <laughs> 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 That's what I need. <laughs> we are in the middle of a square. About to have some lunch. It's actually so hot. I have to take off my coat. ready for the marathon got my garmin watch on tested it yesterday should be okay and it's 8 20 and my start time is 10 past 11 and i'm gonna add my badge on my what's it called my bib number on after i eat some breakfast so we're gonna go down to breakfast now I actually vlogged this with the intention of putting it on TikTok, so the marathon day is going to be in this format. This is me packing my many, many gels because I wanted to have one gel every five kilometers. I'm just preparing to go down for breakfast and look at my badge number. I was so happy. This is my breakfast. They told us to carb up, so I got the porridge, the croissant, the toast, and I ate it all. We are walking to the metro 
to go to the start line and it is beginning to rain. It's a nice temperature, not too hot, not too cold. So we started out in front of the Arc de Triomphe and I made my way to the 4 hour 30 minute plus area. And then I thought, hmm, maybe I should stretch a bit. So that's what I did. And then it was ready for us to go towards the start line. Some people were running towards the start line. I was walking with some other people. And then when we got there, we had like a little countdown and then we started. The first landmark we passed was the Louvre. For some reason, in my head, I thought I would be able to film every 1k and then I thought, actually, maybe every 5k. However, that did not happen. <laughs> I was just focusing on continuing and it was such a faff to take out my phone all the time, especially when it started raining. I didn't even realise that at some point I was ahead of the 4 hour 30 minute marathon pacer, which should have been an indicator that I started off way too fast. There were a few of these tunnels where there were lights and music and then on the other side we had to go slightly uphill. I was so happy to make it to 30k because my husband was going to be waiting for me at 32k. This was me passing the Eiffel Tower, taking a little walk break because I was tired. Gorgeous! Hey! Yes! 40 kilometers and these last 2k OMG OMG <laughs> Crossing the finish line I just thought finally finally <laughs> This is some bonus footage courtesy of the official Paris Marathon videos. They caught me at four points throughout the race. I still can't believe that I completed a marathon. I mean, I knew I was going to do it because I said I wanted to do it, but I still can't believe it. There were water stations at every five kilometers and they also had cakes and bananas and snacks at each station. It's these five kilometer marks that kept me going. Also, the support from the crowd was great. Every time I passed a crowded place, I said to myself, I can't walk now, I have to keep going. Also, I actually love this Garmin. This was my second time wearing it and I programmed it to tell me when I was going too slow and it actually worked up until the halfway point and then I ignored it because I literally could not keep up with that pace any longer. All in all, a great experience, so glad that I did it. If you want to run a marathon or a half marathon or even just start running in general, then just go for it. And it's my birthday. We switched hotels. It's a spa hotel, so we're gonna do steam room and sauna. And we're about to wait, we're waiting for the metro to go to correct. I'm out of breath because I just walked up these stairs and my legs are hurting. But yeah, we're gonna go to Correct, which we went to last time and it was so nice, so excited for that. Nicky Minaj and Del Boy. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> the sun has come out. Need a number. <laughs> <laughs> Del Boy, Nicky Minaj. Have a nice day. See you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going up the Eiffel Tower.
the electric line bags came by an approach. hotel and they upgraded our room because it's my birthday and we've got a balcony look at this big thing that I'm about to eat chocolate chip on mm. The rest of the day was spent eating some good food like this lovely pizza with an egg in the middle. It was actually delicious. And spending time relaxing in this lovely spa area. We had this pool, we had the steam room and the sauna and a nice shower room that had tropical storm and Caribbean storm settings and it felt amazing. But this is just what I needed after running that marathon because my body was aching so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye!